Welcome to Eshel's art room. This little circle with the paintbrush represents me. The idea that I'm choosing to synthesize on today is power, power in the classroom. A visual representation of power can be my art room. This seating chart feels stuffy and stiff. I am at the front, students are sitting, and the supplies are behind me. Now look at what happens to the power as we shift things around. So far we've looked at neurotypical students. Now let's see what happens when we add in some neurodivergent students. If I separate and cluster the neurodivergent students together, they may feel ostracized or excluded. Let's see what happens when we again shift the power. Now let's again add some new students to our classroom. These students are new to the country. They may or may not speak the majority language. They might feel vulnerable and nervous and cluster near the teacher. This next seating arrangement is one of my model classroom ideas. I hope to achieve a classroom where students feel empowered, engaged, and excited to learn together. I will promote inclusivity by creating a welcoming environment for my students. Each of these student groups have their own art supply kits and are excitedly working together. Incorporating choice in the art room and shifting power from the teacher to the students can promote some amazing things. Giving power to students enables them and deepens their learning.